Hey guys, welcome to my venomous dinosaur slayer guide. So when you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Venomous dinosaurs are a slayer creature that require level 105 slayer. This can be boosted to using Wilder Prize. I also recommend 96 plus Herbler for overloads, 95 plus Prayer for turmoil and other damage boosting prayers, 68 plus summoning because of a BOB familiar, a war tortoise is for example pretty decent, a steel titan would be best here for power slaying but if you do not have 99 summoning you definitely do not need it. Level 90 plus combat stats are recommended especially if you want to semi AFK these but you don't need it as there is a safe spot. There is a list of useful items on screen now. Now you do not need any of these things, but they are extremely useful. Apart from the aggression potions, you kind of need those if you want to AFK these. But yeah, diversion ability helps you reduce damage overall. Enhance the voted perk, same thing because you are praying melee here. A penance and vampirism aura are of course useful for prayer points or for extra healing. The same can be said for the scrimshot of vampirism. A charming hint for the charms. A sprinkling into Alc the Noted Salvage, a Steel Titan for power slaying, and a All That Coil or other cannon type for power slaying as well if you want to use one. Now the Venomous Dinosaur has 35,000 life points which is pretty low. They are level 172 combat and they give 1,378 combat experience per kill and a juicy 1,332 Slayer experience per kill. Dinosaurs can only be assigned by Ikea Girl, so you can't get these as a task from any other Slayer Master. As for the drops, again, these aren't amazing money, just like most of the other creatures on Anachronia, but they do make you some money. They have nicely noted drops, and they also drop dinosaur bones every kill, which you should note using magic note paper, and you can then make around 4 million GP per hour if you're a high level player. The dinosaurs also have a chance to drop laceration boots and parts of the blowpipe, which are worth a couple mil apart from the actual bone, and they also have a chance to drop the dinosaur tooth and Dinosaur Red Bone for your Anachronia Base Camp Tier 3 upgrades. Now, I will be showing you guys some more affordable setups in just a second, but here was the setup I was using. Of course, the Kiln Cape is best in slots, even though I was wearing a Max Cape. Vampirism Aura, Scrimshot Vampirism, Armor Spikes, which do work here, thankfully. You know, Cinder Banes, because they are poisonable. A Ring of Death, because they are quite... You know, you can die pretty easily if you don't pay attention. And if you're AFKing using aggression potions, you definitely want to have that ring of death on instead of your luck ring. Alternatively, you could also use regular masterwork, elder rune, or torva armor, as I say in many of the other slayer guides. Pretty straightforward, just use the best gear you have for melee, because melee is the best combat style here, unless you want to use a safe spot. As for your inventory, you want to have super restores, overloads, aggression potions if you want to be AFKing. Magic note paper for the drops, enhanced Excalibur of healing, the other monster drops you want to pick up. I personally don't pick up everything because, for example, the Earth Talismans aren't really worth that much. And emergency food, but if you're using the same setup as I'm using, and you're using a scrimshot vampirism and vampirism aura, you will probably not need any food. Here are some very, very affordable Slayer setup examples, but if you have level 105 Slayer, you probably do have some more money than this, so you might have better gear than this. This is very minimal, you know, tier 70 armor, tier 75 to tier 80 weapons, but this will work just fine. And if you're using ranged or magic, you don't really even need food if you're using the safe spot, because you'll be attacking them one by one, and you'll be completely safe from attacks. More on that later. If you do not know how to get to the Venomous Dinosaurs, follow the video as seen from the Anachronia Base Camp Lodestone. If you do know how to get there, skip ahead in the video. So here are the Venomous Dinosaurs. If you're going to be attacking them one by one, use the safe spot if you're using magic or range. If you're using melee, just attack them one by one using your dual wield weapons. If you're a high level player and using aggression potions and possibly even an all that coil or a cannon, you want to stand in the high level area marked on screen. Now as you see on screen, you can actually use this safe spot to completely stay safe from the venomous dinosaurs when killing them with magic or ranged. This is actually such a great thing. This is amazing if you do not like to take a lot of damage or you're very bad at combat 
and this is just super easy to kill them like this. You can actually also put the Entangle spell on your action bar, which costs three nature runes to use per cast, and you can actually just freeze the venomous dinosaurs in place using this, but you might be better off using the actual safe spot instead to save money on runes. On screen now is a clip of me AFKing them, or semi AFKing them using aggression potions, and this is extremely nice and a fast way of completing the task if you're a high level player. Just keep an eye on your HP and keep your melee prayer on, because if your prayer drops, you are dead, and you want to keep an eye on your health because sometimes a lot of them use the special at the same time, and you take a lot of damage in one go, and therefore you can actually die, so just watch out. Also, I recommend putting Devotion on the first slot of your action bar to save food and this makes it easier to actually afk these the reason you want to stand in this particular spot is because you can actually grab four and possibly even five of the spawns so that means you'll get the most amount of kills per hour and the experience here is actually pretty good using aggression potions i was getting around 367k slayer experience per hour while also making three to four million gp per hour with a kill rate of around 276 kills per hour using an all that coil i got around 30 kills per hour more and that slapped the slayer experience rate up from 367 to 402,000 Slayer experience per hour. So despite these being quite tough to AFK, these are very good in terms of Slayer experience. Nowhere near the best, but nowhere near the worst either. I don't think 400,000 Slayer experience per hour is bad, but for the requirements it might be seen as too high for the experience you get. But it doesn't matter, if you want to get the Anachronia Slayer Lodge Tier 3 upgrade, you will require that Dinosaur Tooth, so you have to do these or the Vile Blooms anyways. And I personally find these quite an enjoyable task as well, compared to the Vile Blooms, which you can't really AFK except for the Lamp and Flora, Anyways, more on that in a future guide. Also, if you were curious, this is what I made in around 40 minutes of a task, being around 1.2 million GP once I saw that on the Grand Exchange. Dinosaur bones sometimes sell really bad. I don't know why that is the case, maybe because a lot of people are doing dinosaurs at the moment. But yeah, they're decent money per hour, but most of your money is coming from the weapon poison and dinosaur bones. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.